Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to learn the classic jazz song, I've Got You Under My Skin. First, we're going to play the song so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. So, it goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so this is the chord that you're gonna be putting on, right? It's a very interesting chord. It's five on the second string, four on the third, and seven on the fourth. And you play this with the open sixth string. And you're gonna arpeggiate it. So you're gonna play strings two, four, three. And each time you play it, you play the chord three times. Right? Now you can do any other arpeggio that you feel like. Okay, it's an arrangement, so you can play it any way you feel like. Okay, this sounds beautiful as well. But to stay close to the original, we play strings two, four, three. Okay, three times. Now of course, when you play the second string, your first note, you play the bass string with it. Okay? Now, you can play the bass note three times. Or you can just let it ring and play it once. Now, you're supposed to play this four times, okay? But you can play it once, you can play it twice. You don't have to play it all four times repetitions. And then the verse begins, you slide two to four on the third string, and you put on five on the second string. So you now have five and four on strings two and three, and you just play them twice with the E bass string. Okay, so it's I got you. And then it's two zero two on the third, and you bar the second fret on strings one, two, and three, and you put on four and five on strings four and five. So now you have D major seven. Okay, so it's two, 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 four, five. And what you play is you play strings four and five, and then you play strings one, two, and three. Okay, so you get this. Got it? You play two, zero, two, 
put on the chord, play the head, and play the high notes. And then you have this again. Okay, exactly the same. And then you have the same D major 7 chord, but a different picking pattern. 2-0 on the third string instead of 2-0-2. Two, two. Okay, just 2 and 0. And you put on the chord and you play 4 on the fourth and then 4 and 5 on 4 and 5. Okay, so you have this and then you play strings 2 and 3 and then 4 and 5. Okay, like this. So it's... So the idea here is I've got you deep in the heart of me. Okay, got it? And then you have two and four on the fourth, the D string. And then you play it with the E bass again and you have four and five, but this time on strings three and four. Okay, this. So it's this. This is E minor. Okay, so it's. And then you take four and five and you play six and seven. So it's two frets up. And then it's two and four. And then it's four and five again. So you get. Okay, it's a series of thirds. Remember, you play the E bass with 4 and 5. And then 5, 3, 2 on the first ring. And then you have D major 7, 2, 2, 2, and the open D string. And then 5, 2 on the first ring. So it's... And then you have 3 on the second string, and you play it twice. Okay? And the second time... I play the third string as well. Okay? Now, the bass note, as you notice, comes with the second note. So, I'm playing strings 2, 3, and 6 on the second note. And then, 4 on the third string. Now, why don't I do this? Just open the second string, because that way I get both notes ringing. Okay, and this note keeps ringing, creating a harmony. And then it's 2-5-2 two, two on the second string, and the D major 7 again, and you play strings 3, 4, and 5 this time. Okay. And then you play everything again to the second D major 7, so you play... one and then the second one and then you play C sharp minor 7 you can just bar the fourth fret put five on the second string and play the chord as strings one two three and five strings one two three and five now you play the first string first and then the chord and then seven four seven four on the first and then this. It's F sharp minor 7, add 9. Uh, you bar the second fret and you put 4 on the first string and you play strings 1, 2, 3, and 6. So it's. And then 2, 2, 0 on the first string. And then your little finger on 4 on the second string gives you time to put on B7. And then you pick it, okay? Springs two, three, four, and five. So it's little finger. Okay, it gives you time to put on the chord. And then three, four on the second string. And then you have three and two on strings two and three. And then it's five and four again with the E bass. And then. The, it's the same note, it's a common tone, 
but the chord changes from E minor to G minor 7. So you bar the third fret and you put five on the second string and you play strings two, three, and six or two, three, four, and six. And it's, um, okay, it's five, five, three, and then two on the second string. So you have to let go of the chord. Okay, you let go of the chord and it's D major seven again but you start with two and zero on strings three and four. And you have the chord on, two, two, and two, okay, to play. So, um, once again, you have C sharp minor seven, and then F sharp minor seven, B seven, Back to E minor, and then G minor 7. Back to D major 7. Now for the chorus. Now, uh, remember 4 and 5 on strings 3 and 2, okay? The one we started with. Now we're taking it back and forth from uh, 5 and 4 to 3 and 2. So it's... Okay? It's... 4 and 5 twice, and then 3 and 2, and then 4 and 5. And you play it with the E bass. And then once again, okay, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 5, and then 7 on the second string, and then 4 and 5 again. Okay, so it's... Got it? And you can play the bass again. And then it's 7 slide to 8 on the second string, and it's D7. It's strings 5, 7, 5 on strings 1, 2, and 3, okay, with the D string. So it's... And then the solo over this chord is 5, 5, 7 on the first string, 7 on the second, 5 on the first. Okay, so it's... Okay, you can play the chord every time you have five and then you have five five three two on the first string and then you have G major seven okay which is two on the first string three on the bass and you play strings one two three and six so the line is two three zero on the first string and then you have the same line with G minor six, which is this. Okay, so it's two, three, three on strings one, two, and three. Now you can put the whole chord on, okay, with G on the bass string, as before. And then lay your little finger down when you play three. So it's two, three, zero, and you do, okay, this. Okay, and lay the little finger down. For me, it's a little bit uncomfortable, so I just play the, the chord like this, like A minor, with my thumb on the bass. And then, okay, and then just laying down my finger is easier. Or I can use my little finger, because it's free. Um, so do it any way you feel comfortable. And then you have two, three, five on the first string into D. So it's 5, 3, 2 on strings 1, 2, and 3 with the D string. And then you have 7 and 5 on the first string with E minor. Okay? Just open strings, 2, 3, and 6. And then you have 7 and 9. And then you have B minor. It's a bar on 7 with 10 on the first string. And then you have 10, 10 pull off to 7. Now when you pull off you play the E minor chord. So it's... Okay, so again, open strings. Then you have... Okay, it's 7-7 seven, seven, pull off to 5 on the first string, 7 on the second, and then 5 on the first string with D. 5-7-9, 
And then E minor with 5-5-5. Five, 5-5-7 five, five. Five, five, on the first, 7 on the second. And then it's D again with 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Okay, so the whole thing, okay, starting from G major 7 was this. And then that sharp 11 chord, D, E minor, and then B minor, E minor, D, E minor, D. And now, 0, 2 on the 3rd string, you can hammer it on, and then G, okay, 2nd string, and then the 3rd and the 2nd string, and then 2, 3 on the 2nd string, and then you have that G minor again with 5 on the 2nd string, and this time you play 5, 3, 5. Okay, so it's... So it's G to G minor, but it's a beautiful melodic line on top of it. Three pull off to two on the second string, and then D. Just strings three and four, and then two, two, four on the third, four on the fourth, and then you have this. It's D over C or D7 with seven on the bass. So it's two on the third string and three on the fifth string. Okay, so it's. And then you have the open third, four on the fourth, and you keep four on the fourth and you bar two because you're gonna need B7. Okay, strings three and five, and Four on the fourth again, the E bass, final line, okay, that's the final line. Two, pull off to zero on the fourth, four on the fifth, open fourth. Okay, and you can finish on D, or D9 if you want, if you want to keep it a little bit jazzy. Okay, so the tab is for free. Go download it for free. The link is below in the description. While you're there, check out my course programs. Check out my different course programs from beginner to advanced courses or the full course program, Break Your Boundaries. So um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.